Hello folks. Um, the last couple of days I've been out twice. I've been out... Um, I've been out uh, at night time twice. Uh, one of the places that I went to is a place that um, I've never been to before. Well, I've never been to filming and that. And it's been about eight years well, seven or eight years since the last time I've been to that particular location, and I changed a lot in that. But um, yeah, um, I was hoping to get them out sooner, but there seems to be a problem with my internet. There's every so often there's a slight glitch, and when when I'm uploading uh, these videos and that, if I do get a glitch in my internet I'll have a glitch in the video and the video will fail and uh, one of the videos um, failed twice and it it basically took over a night to upload so I'm pretty annoyed about that but we'll get them we'll get them up we'll get them up soon um, I had them edit I had one of them edited and everything and I spent ages on it and I had to scrap the whole thing and um, because it failed to upload twice so the only thing I could do was start again and that and hopefully the next time it'll upload so you know I will put them out as premieres Um, the, the other place that I've been to um, it, it turned out sort of a kind of a fail because I failed to get to the places that I wanted to get to but something happened in it that made it all worthwhile if you know what I mean so I'm not going to go too much into it but <coughs> you'll see when the video goes out well this morning um while I'm having a cup of coffee, I'm going to try out my little RTC box here. And uh, I have it on a setting where more static comes in, but it's scanning slower. So more words possibly can come together. Um, rather than having one or two words, I'm letting three or four words come through. So, you know, we'll see how it goes, you know. Um, so we'll just we'll just run that when, while I'm having a cup of coffee and hoping that this video uploads If it doesn't upload I'm wasting my time, but we'll see just I'll just do an a systems check before I You know put these videos together and try to get them out to you guys, you know, so uh, yeah, so uh, I'll just turn on the RTC Hello? You can hear it's a little bit more static than usual. But more static comes through with that setting. Is there anyone? Anyone that wants to come through today? and talk Can you tell tell me a many many uh, a many spirits is here today? Bought this little camera uh, around Christmas time last year. in a second hand electrical store and I haven't used it yet so I just got a new battery for it and hopefully I might use it today 
It's called a cyber shot. Where's the uh, yeah cyber shot? D DSC. HX9V which is 11 years old but it's supposed to be a very very good little camera if it does be good like it's, it's it'll be handy during the daytime because it's very it's very light and handy you know how many is here My name is Sam. If you can hear me, can you say my name? On a recent investigation, I got my name said back to me. That's the only part that I heard, but I haven't reviewed the whole, the whole session. There was a couple of more responses in it, so I think it might have, might have been a successful session, you know? Is this radio easy for you to use? Or is it difficult? Is it hard? Could you tell us, could you tell us what your name is? I did do private lives. Where I recorded them private to be put out later, but for some reason they got lost. So that's why I'm doing this today to make sure that the systems are all good. Would you class yourself as a spirit? If you class yourself as a spirit, could you say spirit for me? To confirm that you can hear me?
battle in one of the investigations. I got to try out my uh, my micro uh, cassette uh, recorder. I thought I would try a bit of analog recording. And there's the size of the little tapes. Do you know? Hopefully it'll encourage me to do more EVP work. Could you tell me, can you see me right now? I woke up pretty early this morning, half past six. Not impressed. Always saying, folks. Do you like that I come to talk to you? Can you tell me? Did you die? Are you a spurs of a human being? I'm sorry I'm asking stupid questions, but I can't see you. And I don't know who I'm speaking to. The last two investigations I've done, I used I used my hack shack box. I had the twelve dash five eight seven, and the first location I went to, it didn't work very well. Some. Sometimes, no matter how good the spurt box is, sometimes they behave different in different places. And it turned out this one worked better than the 12-587 in the location, you know.
this this is this is actually handy what was that because you can push your recorder in there and because it's made from it's kind of scuba diving material you can rec press record and then just strap it you can strap it to your arm because it's got a strap on it and that and you can just carry it around like on your arm because then I normally don't do my EVP work like asking a couple of questions and then playing it back I normally put the recorder on and leave it on this week at Dunstores I'm just getting used to this um, spur box, you know. Are you are you alone? order in there self driving spirit pouch there for putting my tapes in smoother driving Have you shown yourself here before? Have I seen you? By the way, I haven't seen anything as in a pole apparition or anything like that. Just seen orbs and stuff being thrown and moved and stuff like that was there a spur called Tim here yeah Tim there definitely is my listening to radio I don't know that just sounds very Who's Tim? Who's Tim? Some 
Is Tim the one that's moving around in the house? Is Tim the spirit of a little boy? Who's who's Tim? Back in two seconds. Is this, is this Tim Teddy Bear? It's a static bear. That takes a nine volt battery, not a Is this Tim's bear? Who owns the bear? Oh. I think it goes off when there is static, I think. So that long since I used it. It's a couple of years. I don't know how it's supposed to work because... It's a static detector bear. But when you think the bear would be full of static. flashes slightly when you when you turn it on it stays on and when the static comes the lights go off don't know if you can see it on camera
It's not Tim's bear. If it's Tim's bear, say Tim's bear. Where did you come from? Can you see me right now? Don't know if the camera's picking up them lights. If you can see me, could you tell me what colour t-shirt I'm wearing? Do you follow me around? Not that I go very far, a lot of the time. Following me around would be pretty boring, most of the time. I'm going to have a coffee. Do you want one? Back in a second.
that shouldn't take long it's only it boils one cup at a time Back in a second. The one thing I have a habit of doing is turning the volume up full on sp- sp- spirit boxes, and sometimes the audio peaks and 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 gets um, the audio gets very kind of blurry when it peaks, especially if you put it through speakers. How many is we here right now? You'll find that I record a lot of my spurt box sessions and just put the video out the way it is, raw. What I do there, most of the time, is just uh, let the video go out raw. And after the video goes out, that's when I... That's when I investigate it. Because I find if you... I don't know, it's it's very... Um, the environment... The environment around YouTube and, and the paranormal, it's very sort of toxic in that. 
And I just don't want to give people excuses to cause anything. Do you know? So very often, a lot of the time, I won't even subtitle a session. And I investigate it afterwards, and if I find something, I find something. If I don't, I don't. I'm just giving it to you, Raw, that you can discover for yourselves, you know. The only thing that can be criticised is the method itself. You know, especially if we don't make any any cl- um, big claims or anything like that. Good advice for anybody starting out. You know. I have to go to I go out today to collect medication in the city, which I hate doing because uh, it's pretty hard to get parking. Are you still with us? Could you tell me where you are? Sometimes I find when you're doing a session, it doesn't start getting to warm up until about a half an hour when you're about to finish. Maybe whatever communicates needs to. Needs to have time to figure out how to communicate. I don't know. It's very hard to prove what you can't see.
back in a second. I just want to get a a medal here. In a previous video, there was a, let me say, a, an unidentified object went past here, and where I picked up that medal, that object all of a sudden tore, changed direction towards us. So, is it having to do with this little medal, which is from 1928? It says church. Church Lads Brigade. From nineteen twenty years. Could you tell me what I have in my hand? I might actually uh, look into that, what, what is it all about, because it happened. Could you tell me about this uh, medal? Could you tell me who owns the the medal? Who owns the medal? You know, you see these um, medals for sale online and in sale in antique shops. And it is kind of sad because, you know, in normal circumstances, you know, if somebody gets medals and they pass on and die. Somebody else from the family inherits the medals and that. Maybe there's no family left, or maybe the family don't appreciate the medals as much as the person that got them did, and sell them on to make money, which is kind of sad, you know. Could you tell me about your words? Are you allowed to tell us?
and had the sensors on top. Then says sensors on top of the teddy's head. I think. Yeah, the sensitivity seems to be around the head area somewhere. Which means you touch anywhere else of it, it doesn't it doesn't affect it. Although I don't know if I can see it you can see it on camera. Where do you stay? Where do you hang out? Where do you live? Spirits, where do we go when we die? I have, a, I have a device behind me with a light on it, a green light. If you're here in the room, could you light that? Could you light that device up? Could you come and touch it? Truth is, when we communicate, we don't know where they are. Where are they communicating from? Are they communicating? Here in the room, or they do they transmit from a, a different dimension that can't interact with us? I don't know. Lots and lots of questions.
You're welcome. Is there any spurs energy attached to any objects in this house? What object? Did I hear toy? If there is uh, energy attached to any object, what object is that? What item? You know, people say keep your session short, 15-20 minutes. What I find a lot of the time is things start to kick off when uh, you're about to finish, you know. People make assumptions that we're talking to spirits and the spirits come into the space that we're in. But we can't prove it, you know. They don't automatically come into the room the minute you turn on a spirit box. I feel it takes time. Many is communicating with me right now. I'm smelling a mechanic's oil smell for some reason and I don't have oil products in the house. 
What's the oil smell? Who is that? It's gone now, but it just came for about a sec, you know, a couple of seconds and went again. It was like, poof. It was like a smell of a mechanic's greasy overalls. It's the best way to explain it. I was just thinking. I was just thinking. I'm here about four years, and when I moved here, this was brand new. And I've had good sessions here, and I've had activity come on, uh, you know, happen here. And. I have items here with supposedly haunted history, attachments, etc. I've just got some antique items. Did 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 that attract the energy? Did that bring the energy into the house? It's all it's all up in the air because it's all theories. But I'm just thinking, Steve Hope is just moving house. And I'm, it'd be interesting to see his first session in his new house. Will his sessions be exactly the same as the old house? Because my thinking is it shouldn't be. Because it's a completely different environment. But then again, Steve has a habit of uh, having amazing spur box sessions every time he puts on that gadget of his. Or over overlaid uh, audio, allegedly. If there was anything behind his gadgets, I'd be using them too. We all would be. I did mess around with pedals for a while and then I got fed up with them. Because I found that the noise gate used to uh, cut out the low tones. And I was losing evidence through the low tones.
been called out, you know. You get some of these boxes that are relatively not very noisy at all. I'd rather have a little bit of noise, but not too much. Like, I don't like the S box. But I like things like this. If I turn it to the fastest setting, there'll be no static in it at all. Like this. But that's it scanning fast. I like turning it. I like turning it down. Letting a few words come through. And even though more words, radio words come through. If there is any communication, it's possibly you get more than one word. That's why I scan slow. What place do we go to when we die? I'll just hit it. Is there ghosts or spirits in this house? If there is, can you say ghost or spirit for me, please? Could you tell me if aliens are real? may ask questions over and over again I'm trying to get the same answer to each if I if I repeat a question although sometimes that doesn't work because um, 
I have tried it before. And when I asked the question in a different way the second time, I got a reply, I told you first time. I'm going to finish up soon because I'm I'm on over an hour now. Is there anything you want to say before I finish? Is there any message you want to give us? I thought I heard dickhead, but I, I won't know until I listen back. I'm sorry I asked so many questions. Didn't mean to didn't mean to annoy you. I'm going to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye to me? Did I sp- spend an hour and ten minutes talking to a broken radio? Or did I get anything? I don't know until I listen back. Hopefully the audio was okay. Hopefully everything was okay. Um, I'm just going to try and upload this and see how it how it, how it it goes. Because I seem to be having problems the last couple of days. Which, you know... Which I couldn't get anything out. But the thing is, I've got two videos in the pipeline to go out. So, so you know, that's good. But, you know, hopefully it'll get sorted. Um, yeah, with spurt box sessions, you don't know. You know, you don't know if you're going to get anything. And certainly you don't get a, a, a something all the time, you know. Uh, now and again... <laughs> Something intelligent is answering back to questions. There's no doubt about that. You know, older researchers would criticise the spurt box because it's got human voices with radio broadcasts in them. But, you know, many of us have used the spurt box and, and we've got some intelligent responses to what we have been asking and what we've been talking about we get responses that you know there's um 
it's very very hard to explain and you know over time you kind of when you're running the spirit box you get to know the tone of the radio voice if you know what I mean and then if something significant comes up in the line of a question the tone changes with the response it's very difficult you have to sort of you have to sort of tune your ears to it sort of thing but anyway folks i am going to leave it there um you know some people like spirit box sessions some people would rather see you know me out doing investigations and stuff like that do both do you know um and as I says, I'm just trying to test to see, well, can I upload this, you know? So, uh, yeah, um, looking forward to try and get those other two videos out, um, you know, which are pretty interesting. One of them, I know for a fact that the Spurt Box session is, is pretty good because there was a couple of good responses in it. Haven't fully looked into it fully yet but um we'll be doing that so we'll see how it goes so uh that is the session with the rtc box and that is the rtc box which kind of looks like a uh it looks like a um it looks like a joe's box but um i i i think it's a pretty pretty good good uh good little box you know um don't bring it with me everywhere I go, but, uh, you know, uh, hoping to bring it out more and more with me and that. You know, sometimes I go out and I try to, to go out with a light bag of things rather than than carrying around a lot of equipment, which I have a habit of doing and then I can't, I'm struggling sort of thing. So, uh, yeah. Right, folks, I'm going to go and... Uh, you know, if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, be good to each other.